We begin tonight with the latest on that high speed crash captured on camera in Hernando County, where a car careened into a house and then caught fire. This is Nightside. I'm Dave Wagner. And I'm Carolina Lead. Highway Patrol says a driver died in this crash. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell shows us the damage left behind and speaks with a neighbor who caught it all on camera. Neighbors tell us they knew something was wrong when they saw the driver blow through a stop sign a ways back. Now the homeowner tells us that the car hit an embankment, went airborne, and take a look at this tree. He estimates the damage is about 11 feet high before crashing into the house and the car catching on fire. Now we can tell you what happened, but this surveillance video will show you. It was uh, something from a movie, a car flying in the air hitting a side of a house. A neighbor who lives next door to the house where the car crashed tells us the driver sped by so quickly that his ring doorbell couldn't even pick up the motion. But John Caban lives just far enough away that his security system got it all on video. I mean, my, my heart stops thinking, oh my God, all the injuries that could have happened, four kids in there. Thank God they were uh, at school and, and, and safe. But their parents were home. The parents, husband and wife running out. Sprinting out of the house to try and help fight the flames and assist the driver after they heard the car plow into the side of their home, destroying a concrete wall and part of the roof. Yeah, and I was concerned for the people inside, uh, my neighbors, and thank God they were not hurt. And while neighbors wait to see if investigators can find out what happened tonight, Caban says he's keeping the family of the person who lost their life in his thoughts. I hope but, and I pray for the family of that individual that, uh, you know, died. And it was unfortunate that someone passed away. In Hernando County, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Now we spoke to an FHP spokesperson about 90 minutes ago, and he confirmed they are looking into whether the driver was under the influence and if there were any mechanical issues with the car. Highway Patrol hasn't released the name of the driver as they work to notify his family. Meantime, the crash caused the water in the house to be shut off and the AC to go out. The homeowners say they still don't know when they'll be able to move back in.